Well, the fatal shooting of Officer Richard Mendez at Philadelphia International Airport during an attempted car theft last week is another stark reminder of the ongoing crime problem. The Action News investigative team had been investigating airport crime prior to the shooting, and they found an eye-opening surge. 2023 continues to be on pace for the most airport crimes in a decade. Action News investigative reporter Chapadelli follows the trail of a stolen suitcase full of valuables. You know, there's another one. Mickey oh, Peg waited and waited for the conveyor belt to spit out his luggage. I said, it's right down in that hole. All you got to do is go down there and just get it. Can somebody please get it? She told me that was not the procedure. He says he was told his luggage would be delivered when found. But Peg found it odd. His AirTag tracker showed his luggage was on the move and appeared to stay overnight at a home on the 5800 block of Lansdowne Avenue in West Philadelphia. The next morning, it actually goes back to the airport. I kid you not. The bag pinged again, this time at 55th and Pine, outside the 18th District for the Philadelphia Police Department. When his wife arrived, oddly, he says police told her they'd arrested someone for stealing luggage. Only his luggage was not among those recovered. I'm like, it's in the parking lot right now. The following day, the bag was on the move again, this time across the Ben Franklin Bridge, and Peg turned to the investigative team. We sped off to the Cherry Hill Mall. The luggage tracked to this parking lot. A white Range Rover was parked right over here, isolated from other cars, as you can see right now. And two people were inside, and the tracker showed the luggage was in the exact same spot. Soon they were on the move. Unable to follow them, we followed the air tax movements and pulled up at this TD bank in Camden, six miles from the mall. Lo and behold, the white Range Rover was there. Only the second passenger was gone. We tracked it to the Cherry Hill Mall, and your car was there. Okay. And now we just tracked it to here. The air tag on the luggage. The woman we spot at the mall in the SUV admitted she saw us there, but denied having any luggage. Police are now investigating, and so far, there have been no charges. But the alleged luggage theft is among a growing number of crimes at Philadelphia International Airport. Police crime records obtained and analyzed by the Action News investigative team has found there have been 956 crimes at the airport through mid-October, on pace for more than a 50% uptick compared to the 770 crimes in all of 2022. Theft is by far the most common, with nearly 700 this year, 112, which are auto thefts. In July, eight vehicles in a parking garage were also vandalized. It's my job to make sure that the passengers feel safe. People Captain feel Samantha Brown the runs the airport police unit. In this exclusive interview before Officer Richard Mendez had been killed, she blamed the uptick in passenger travel for the increase in property crime at the airport and told the Action News team there had been an ongoing car theft issue. We had an ongoing investigation. We're close to bringing that in. Peg, a cigar company owner, says he had about 4,000 in belongings in his luggage, a thousand of which were high-end cigars. The thieves eventually ditched his air tag back in West Philadelphia. So far, he hasn't received a dime from the airline. At this point, maybe an apology. And pay me the money they owe me. The airport declined a request for an on-camera interview, but a spokesperson tells us that passenger safety is their top priority. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Fredelli, Channel 6 Action News.